Can they pick up a win to end out what has been a tough homestand? Hi, everybody. Welcome back to EA Sports. I'm James Sabalski. Setters glide into position for the opening draw. The Blues start with possession as we are now underway. Poked away in the offensive end. Marchand's got it along the wing. known to bring the heat offensively for his squad. Marchand's dogged determination helps him win those 50-50 puck battles, guys. His no-contest zone ability is how he maintains possession for his team. I'm expecting one of these two players to be the biggest impact for their team tonight. Back to you guys. Shen's going to the box for tripping. as they continue to play shorthanded. And there's a little help from your friends right there from off the wing coming up with the puck. And another stop! Man, is he ever quick on his feet, anticipating the play. Excellent reflexes. He's saving his team right now. Sackers ready for the draw this man advantage. Thomas wins the faceoff at his own end. The Bruins have it in the offensive zone. Picked up along the boards by Lindholm. The Blues will try to shave a few seconds off this penalty now. Puck slid down the ice. Moves it to the middle. Misses the net. Scooped up along the wall by Saka. Covers the shot. Blocked in front. Big hit and that frees up possession. Oh, gets a piece of it with the glove. They are really dialed in here tonight. They have really got the cycle dialed in here. Oh, good stop on the play. Here's a hit. Here's another shot. You know he's worked a lot on this in practice because his hands are an extension of his body here, James. He knows how to manipulate his opponent. He dangles his way to the net, and he doesn't miss. Boston's early lead in this one, a direct result, Cheryl, of moving their feet. They're moving their feet, and they're moving the puck, and this gives them a little bit of a cushion to play free, and you get your entire bench into the game early. You show good habits, and you get rewarded for it. Pennington's really impressed me tonight, James. Just look at that last sequence and that desperation save. Unbelievable. I mean, when it's required to be calm and poised, he's got quiet feet. But when he needs to move and make a desperation play, he does it. And that's picked away. What a stop at point-blank range by Swayman. A player should never be left alone in this slot, but man, is the goaltender to task here. Gets out in front of it and makes the save. Shen's ready for the draw as they continue to be shorthanded here. St. Louis takes possession after that offensive zone faceoff. Happenings almost out of the box. Moves it over to DeBrusque. 
The Bruins take it along the wall. Nice reflex by the goaltender to get his glove on that one. As a goaltender, you have to be able to read and anticipate the play. He does it perfectly and is able to negate the shot. Still plenty of time left in this frame. We've got a 1-0 hockey game thus far. Back to the point it goes. Oh, I thought he was going to be beaten, and he somehow got a piece of that. Ref blows the whistle as the puck's covered up. The Bruins have taken advantage of their opportunities here in the early going. And they take possession here inside the offensive zone. Sacrifices the body to block that in front. Keeps the hold of the puck. Looking to set up offensively. Moves it to the middle. Oh, wins the ball. Yeah, the officials caught that hack. Loses his balance on the play. Let's get the official decision. Well, with a one-goal lead, there's a small margin of error, James, and to protect it, you can't be in the box. Now they're shorthanded, and they got to find a way to kill it off. McAvoy's known for doing his best work in the defensive zone. Guys, his stick-em-up zone ability, it's what allows him to make great use of his stick checking to defend in his own end of the ice. Snaps it on net! Stones him in front! Well, he makes an incredible save on a point-blank shot here, James. I love the way he's aggressive, he's competitive, and he wins the battle. Kiki's ready for the draws that will continue to try to kill off this penalty. Boston's got it in the defensive zone. More time off the clock as they grab the puck. Fires it into the offensive zone. And he slides it quickly to Thomas. There's a shot! Big save by the goaltender once again. Puck clears the zone. Directs it on over to Bushnevich. Can't complete the pass as it goes off a stick. Quick feed to McAvoy. Puck cleared from the defensive end. They fight for it along the boards. Boston's got a hold of the puck now. Angles it over to Heinen. Smart heads up play to neutralize the threat. Oh, the officials saw that trip, and the hand is up. Here comes the call. Well, everyone has a job in the role to do, and guess what? It's about PK execution right now. They have the one goal lead. Now they're protecting it. The Blues with a five on three, and they've got loads of time to work with here. Well, they earned this a power play, James, through hard work, and it's an opportunity to even the score here. They need to find a way to execute and get back to the even score. St. Louis will try to make something happen here in the offensive zone. Great pass save. This is a dialed-in goaltender, very aware, knows where the shooter is in that low slot, and makes the save. Takes the feed up ahead. Two on one, here we go! Smart defensive effort to break up that play. He was locked in there. And the puck's booted away. Both sides mixed up for that battle for the puck along the wall. The Blues gain control of the puck. I always say, to be great, you have to get uncomfortable as we look at this last save. This looks uncomfortable. Stretching your body, finding a way to make yourself as big as possible to get to the save. That's what he did, and that's why the save was made. A critical face-off looming here. and Let's see if they can maintain that offensive momentum. Well, you know that the defensive side is vulnerable right now with a tired tender. And on the offensive side, you've got to recognize that vulnerability, and you have to attack the net. Special teams so important. Can they capitalize on this power play here with a face-off? The Blues win the draw here in the neutral zone. Fires it on net, and that goes off course wide. There's so many moving parts. And he scores! And look who's at it again as the points continue to pile up. Well, 50 is a huge number, James, and everyone around him knows it. His teammates are up. They're congratulating him. You can see the stick taps right there. But this has been an unbelievable year for him so far, and it's incredible to think what he can continue to do.
Well, your specialty team coaches are constantly telling you on a power play that you need to take advantage. And the way that you do that is to take away the eyes of the goaltender. A ton of net front presence here. And that's the reason the seeing eye shot finds its way to the back of the net. Frederick's side still shorthanded here as they slide in for the faceoff. Boston's won the faceoff at center. And that's intercepted. Centering in front. And another pass. Another pass. Another pass. Can't connect on the play. Puck is cleared out of the defensive zone. St. Louis looks to get things going now with the puck. And he's tripped up on the play. Referee's hand goes up here. Moves it quickly over to McAvoy. Takes a shot. Oh, and he didn't get all of it, but just enough to keep it out of the net. And the officials will pass the sentence here. Three penalties in one period. You got to stay disciplined. And what it does is it disrupts the flow of your bench. Only your PKers are getting out of there. down the hatches things should open up here with a little four on four on the ice well four on four is similar to three on three there's more ice available and you can't just dump it in you want to possess the puck and try and create numbers around the ice that's two on one all over Kuznevich has been feeling it James you know who else is feeling it his teammates they have been the beneficiaries of a great leader on the ice who's just been distributing the puck and generating a ton of offense picked up along the wall by Mitchell the Bruins penalty has expired. They now go to work on the power play. Takes the puck, but hangs on to the puck. And the puck clears the zone. The Bruins gain control of the puck against the wall. Answers it with an even better save. Puck is frozen, and we get a stoppage in play. Sunfist gliding in for the faceoff as this penalty kill will continue. Coyles won the faceoff, and now let's see what they can do. Denies him on the one-timer! Just moments away from the resumption of this power play, they're ready to drop the puck here for this faceoff. The Blues win the draw on their own end. And the puck leaves the zone. Poked away in the neutral zone by Shattenkirk. Centering feed! Chance and that goes off target. The Blues get a hold of the puck under man. Good fight for the puck along the boards. From the slot, wrist shot, and he stopped that one. They've really got him on their heels here now. Moving with it here in the offensive end. but he had to get the one-timer off quickly, James, because he didn't have much time and space in that net front area. You know that they're going to close quickly on you when you find that that puck comes across. The Bruins take the one-goal lead here in the first. Uh, and if I'm the coach, I'm telling them, keep going, be aggressive, stay on the puck, especially after you score a goal head goal. You got them back on their heels. You got to attack. Coyles won the draw center. Gains the zone along the right wall. The Blues have it from their own end. Here's a short pass to Torchenko. Quick shot. Denied by the goaltender. Looks to set up at the point now. Comes up with the stop. Cut grab by Coyle. They go on the attack from the left side. Oh, what a stop with the glove by Bennington. Goaltender hangs on for the whistle. Boston's high activity in the offensive zone has resulted in them leading here midway through the first. The frozen biscuits dropped, and we are back underway here. Flips it up to that, and he makes a save there. And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period, Boston's got a one-goal lead. The Blues win it in the defensive zone. And down he goes as the puck goes free. Grabbed along the board by Saka. Moves it to McAvoy. Handles the puck. Too much congestion blocks the shot. St. Louis plays it up ahead. Bumped off the puck. They go on the attack through 
center. Handles the pass. St. Louis moves it ahead. Fires it. Makes a save. In front of the net, the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. Past the midway mark of the frame, Boston's got a slim lead. They lead it 2-1. Nice job tying up his opponent. Oh, and he misfires on that. The Bruins take it across the line. Oh, the thievery coming up with the puck on the play. Picked up along the boards by Buchnevich. McAvoy moving the puck through his own zone. And he takes the pass. And he slides it quickly to Lindholm. How did he stop that one? The setters will glide into the dot. And they win the draw here in their own end. Scooped up along the wall by Pareko. St. Louis is across the line and on the attack. And it's a quick pass to Sundquist. There's a great close save by Swayman. Listen, Jane, the shooter's in the slot. This is as high danger as it can get. And he challenges. He's set, ready to go in great position and makes the save as a result. The Bruins have put a lot of pucks on net here in the first, and they continue to lead. Puck is dropped, and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Look at this down the right wing. They're on the attack. St. Louis gains a hold of possession. And now it's grabbed by Kapanen. St. Louis on the attack. Look out! The lane was plugged up, and that shot's blocked. Passes over to Kiki. Keep it out for the back of the net. And off the draw, they'll take possession. Steps inside the line. Poked away by Steen. Carries the puck through the neutral zone. Sends the pass down low. Quick pass across to Krislik. Hammers one. And the traffic jam in front blocks the shot. Quick pass to Torchenko. Through the neutral zone up along the wing. Now a quick pass to Alexandrov. And then it's blocked in traffic. Works it across to Lucic. And now he moves it quickly to Krislik. Moves it to the middle. And that goes off a stick and off target. Skates across the blue line. The Bruins gain possession in their own end. Up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area. Puts it on that fantastic save. Bennington's been outstanding. I mean, he gets to position to be able to make that point blank save. Way off target. Uh, he looks to get this one off quickly and just gets up under the puck and that one sails right over the net. Quick feed to Shen. Off his stick, denies him with a save. Fires it. Puck scooped up by Lauko. From the left side, he moves it up ahead. And he's knocked off the puck there. Moves it quickly over to Bushnevich. Big time save. Oh my goodness. Well, throw technique out the window. This time it's all about the competitive will to get to that puck. Well, as play continues. Can you feel the love tonight? Listen to this place here, Cheryl. I can feel it, you can feel it, and he can feel it after that last save. Because you know what fans appreciate? They appreciate effort, James, and that's how that save was made. Letty's taking it from his own end. Scoops up the puck now. Steps inside the attacking zone down the left wing. Sends it quickly to McAvoy. The Bruins move to the offensive zone. Here's a pass in front, and that's off target. Taken by Pareko. And he takes the feed. Here's a short pass to Verona. And he turned that one aside. In front, and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. Here in the later stages of this period, the Bruins lead it 2-1 in what has been an entertaining game thus far. 
The Blues win the faceoff. The Bruins get a hold of the puck. Through center along the wing. Moves it to Kiki. Feeds the puck to Saar. Takes the pass. St. Louis. Oh! Off the iron! The Blues are working hard to get back in this game. They wire went off the post, but they're generating offense. The coach, the staff, the entire team needs to stay confident here. They're generating the looks. They just have to find a way to execute. Saad's got it in the offensive zone. The Bruins scoop it up along the boards. Quick pass to Lindholm. The Blues go to work on offense. Quick feed to Saad. Hammers a shot! Scores! They tied it up, and we are back to even! Well, working hard, sticking to the game plan with good habits, and they're back to evens. Well, the big glove save doesn't work here, James, and it finds the back of the cage. But when there's a lot of net front presence in traffic and you're trying to fight through the screen, sometimes you just gotta drop into the butterfly and hope for the best. Center's gliding up to the face-off dots here. The Blues get a hold of the puck off the draw. Musa quickly over to Lindholm. First period nearly in the books here. Boston's looking to break out. Takes it across the blue line. Here's a short pass to Lindholm. In close! Beatington's opted to hang on to the puck for a face-off. Here in the late going to the frame, it's all tied up. They win the face off here in the road end to take possession. Quick feed to Shattenkirk. Oh, what a stop with the paddle! Centering feed! Great job of maneuvering his body to get available in tight to the goaltender. Anytime you're in net front, you want to find a way to get your stick on a puck. This one timer that he's able to get off beats the goaltender clean. Boston's taken a one goal lead here in this opening stance, and how does this now change the complexity? Uh, I think the coach wants to manipulate their bench now that they have dictated pace, James. But if you're an elite athlete, you're all He's pushing for more. One certainly isn't enough. You don't have enough runway to sit back and say, hey, we're going to post this one in. Takes a shot. Stoppage in play as the puck goes up and over. We'll get a face off. The Bruins have been the better team so far in this first period. They've had multiple scoring opportunities and as a result have the lead. St. Louis has won the face off here in their own end. There's the buzzer, 20 minutes in the books, second period just around the corner. A clean sheet of ice beckons and period number two set to get underway. The second stanza is underway as the puck is dropped, let's go. Well, Cheryl, we got 20 minutes under our belts in this one. How do you sum up the performance? The Bruins are putting on a shooting clinic out there right now. Real entertaining game to watch. The coach will be real happy about being opportunistic and taking shots. Takes a bump, but still hangs on to the puck. Scores! And they run it back with another. Yeah, back-to-back -back goals. You can feel the energy, the wave, the momentum, and the tides have turned here, James. They need to keep the pedal to the metal. Well, you create offense by moving the puck, and that's exactly what he does here. He knows how to manipulate his opponent to open up the lane, but it's all about the pass. It's got to be on the money if you want to do something with it. Boston's extended the lead to two. Well, James, it's exactly where you want to be. You have a two-goal push in here, but you also know that your opponent's going to start pressing. There's a lot of game left here, and if they get within one, they'll be within striking distance. St. Louis has the puck. Feeds it on over to Pareko. Puck picked up by Thomas. Here's a chance! Oh, solid save by Swayman! Takes the feed. Blocked by the defender. Nice play. Puck grabbed by Pareko. 
Referee signals penalty coming up here with a delayed call. Shot! Whistle blown, stopping the play. The Bruins have been called for elbowing. They'll serve two in the box. Listen, a power play, you want to make sure that you're getting a high percentage shooting shot. And that's exactly what they did earlier on the 1-3-1 where they were able to capitalize. It's about opening up lanes, getting the coverage to move around, and then firing and executing when you have it. And that pass will take this deflected. Good stand-up hit on the play. And that goes off a player in front. Moves it to Hayes. Moves the puck behind the net. Sends the pass over. Tangible effort that you can't teach, James. That's all about desperation and the will to stop that puck. The goaltender, they have to have talent. They have to have mobility. They have to be able to track the puck, but they have to have a willingness to find it and fight for any second shot, and that's exactly what happens here. Out battling, out willing, and you make the save. Face off coming up here in the attacking zone. Well, they'll want to put their foot on the gas pedal here, sensing that the goaltender's overworked right now, and let's face it, he can't change. St. Louis wins the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. And that carries off a body in the lane. And they move the puck out of harm's way. Tries to get this man advantage going from their own end now. The Blues move the puck in the defensive zone. Shot! Oh, and it goes off his glove. There's the whistle. We'll get a face-off after the goalie covers up. Pyrus ready to take the draw here on this power play. Fredericks won the draw inside his own end. And the puck is cleared to a safer spot. Trying to get something going here with this man advantage as they start from their own end. They fight for it along the boards. Nice play shorthanded as they get control of the puck. Good clearing attempt to breathe. Taken along the wall by Frederick. Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? Kiki's recognizing they're still shorthanded here as they get ready for the faceoff. The Blues come up with the defensive zone draw. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Picked off by Kiki. Boston's been excellent tonight, James. They found ways to work hard on and off of the puck. And when they're away from it, they've really done a great job of being in good position to be able to take away lanes and angles, seams, you name it. But it has to translate to something. This is still a close game. And he loses control of the puck. And they send it down the ice. St. Louis moves ahead with the puck. And now it's over to Bushnevich. And it's broken up by a nice defensive use of the stick. Find some space in the corner. Quick pass to Kairou. Right in front with the shot. Oh, he's saving. Oh, my goodness, what a stop. Oh, that's unbelievable, James. I have no idea how he got to that pocket. Some gymnastics at its finest. Lindholm's stick work will land him two minutes for slashing. Scoring opportunity looms here. Having success earlier on the power play, they recognize where the openings have been. But what I love about it is they're not afraid to change it up. The motion on this power play and these sequences have really been the reason they've been successful. Strong use of the body to force the puck loose. Cuts into the paint. Denies him in close. The Blues have it now. Here we go, two on one. He scores! And there it is, number 20 on the year. Well, that's a milestone, James. It isn't easy to beat the goaltenders in this league, and he's done it 20 times. We well, don't get many odd man rushes throughout a game, James. So you have to capitalize on your opportunity. I thought they executed perfectly. They didn't overpass. The right player took the right shot.
St. Louis has served up a major counterpunch here in period number two. And it's all about trusting your preparation, James, and that's exactly where they are in the second. They're finding a way to have good habits, and they're rewarded by getting themselves within one. And he slides it quickly to Kairou. For point Scores! Looking like me grabbing leftovers all over that rebound, and they put it home. Well, I really like the effort on this goal, James. He shows a knack for the net and being real hard and heavy on his stick as he's able to put that rebound in the net. Will Tenner's got to clean that up, though. That one got kicked right back out. The Blues have made this a whole new game in period number two. The difference in a close game is often the details, James, and this is a group that have worked hard, they've had good habits, and they find themselves tied. Puck is dropped, and we are back on the way. And that's broken up by DeBrusque. Boston's through center right now in the offensive end. From the back of the cage with the puck. Quick shot, and he gets all on that one as it was teed up with the slapper, but he turns it aside. Nearing the midway mark of the period, we got a tie game. Good read by the winger as the two setters tie up. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Shattenkirk's got it in the defensive end. Rips it on net, and that shot dies in traffic. Quick feed to Krizlik. Sunfist stick handling in his own zone. Attack along the boards. Boston's got the puck along the wall. Moves it quickly over to Saka. He takes a moment to backtrack but maintains possession. Here's a shot, and that carries off a body in traffic. And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. Great positioning by the goaltender to redirect it to the corner, getting it out of danger. Slick feed. Takes the feed at center and moves forward. Goalie with a stop. And they'll cover it up, forcing a stoppage in play. Face off looming as both centers get into position. And they win the draw in the offensive zone and they go to work. Back to the blue line. Unleashes a cannon! We got a whistle as the puck's frozen. The Bruins start with the puck in their own end. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. Shot! Huge blocker saved by Bennington. St. Louis looks to break out in their own end. Rocks him into the boards. Knocked away by McAvoy. And he takes the feed. Just a little too much contact and couldn't hang on to the puck. And he slides it quickly to McAvoy. Here's a shot. Oh, what a pad save by Bennington. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. You can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. The Blues win the draw here in their own end. Slides it diagonally to Bushnevich. Uses the force on that hit. And he loses possession of the puck after trying to make one too many moves. He is so dangerous when the puck is on his stick in the offensive zone, but he tries one too many moves and he loses the puck. Smart defensive play there. And it's a quick pass to Shen. The Blues will play it in their own end. Oh, smart heads up Reed. The Blues get a hold of the puck in their own end. Looks to make a play over to Shen. Here's a short pass to Bushnevich. Here's a centering pass. And that carries off a twig in front of the net. Moves the puck. Fires it on net. Oh, how did he stop that? What a save by Sweeman. And now it's grabbed by 
Saka. Gaining momentum up along the side. Denies him, he got all of it. Now a quick pass to Laupo. Save made by the goalie. Swatted away with the stick in the defensive zone. Moves it to DeBrus. And that's knocked away. Boston's got it now. Takes a hit, he goes down to the ice, and coughs up the puck. Dumps the puck in. Boston's got a hold of it against the wall. The Bruins take possession in the defensive end. Mitchell's got it along the wing. Takes a shot, and that goes off somewhat in front and doesn't reach the net. Sunfist got the puck along the wing. Tried to get 2Q with it and loses possession. But he's got such a slick set of hands. He's trying to manipulate his opponent one by one, but he tries one too many, James, and he loses the puck. St. Louis has it. Moves the puck into the attacking area. Quick pass to Saar. Scores! And we take a drive to Clutch City as they take the lead. Well, the lead is in their hands, and now it's about building off of that. Good shift management, dictating pace, controlling the offensive zone. Everything now, it's on the line. Coaches always say, take away the eyes of the goaltender, and this is exactly why you can see him trying to find the puck at every corner, reaching around bodies up and down, but he can't find this puck, and it winds up in the back of the net. Boston's been the busier team offensively with way more shots on goal, but they still trail in the second. Carries it into the offensive end up the middle. Quick shot, too much congestion in front. And now he moves it to Frederick. St. Louis is on the attack. Fires it, misses the net and will play on. Well, you work so hard to get these opportunities and you have to find a way to execute and take advantage of your position on the ice. St. Louis takes hold of the puck. The Bruins have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Shattenkirk's lugging the puck. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. And that's a great heads up play in the offensive zone. And a strong effort on that play. We'll get a face off after the puck stays covered up. Here in the back half of this period, the Blues are looking to build on this one goal lead. Alexandros won the draw and they're on the attack. Oh, can't finish! Well, he can't finish, but a great... Oh, well, there's gonna be a call on that one, James. We got a stoppage, let's get the call. Well, it's kind of hard to protect a one goal lead when you're sitting in the box and your team's short-handed, James. The PK unit's gonna have to find a way to stave off the power play here and get the job done. Boston's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. A power play then can even the score here, James. It is massively important that they create some kind of momentum in their favor on this one. Working to shake the pressure from the defensive zone. Quick feed to Pasternak. Stop that one. From their own end, trying to kickstart this power play. Goaltender covers it up and we'll get a reset here. Sunfist gliding in for the faceoff as this penalty kill will continue. And they win the draw on their own end. Boston's moving it into the offensive end. And a delayed penalty coming up as he got tripped up. Scores! And I guess they won't need that power play after all. Well, it's a delayed call, and it almost looks as if the defensive structure collapses. And man, do they take advantage. Well, his role on this team is to be first to the puck, and he does just that. He hounds it. He's like a chihuahua on the puck here, James, and he's able to get the retrieval. And you can't score goals if you don't have the puck. Boston's offensive pressure has resulted in an equalizer here tonight. As an athlete, you always know the end of the period is critical time, and you want to maintain pressure, and you want to gain momentum heading into the third. That goal did just that and tries to make a diagonal pass to Shen. Boston's got the puck. Right up Main Street and on the attack.
This guy just knows how to score goals. He's got a knack for the net, pure goal score, and that's why he's leading his team. The Bruins pick up the all-important lead here as we inch closer and closer towards the second intermission. Well, anytime you score in the back half of a period, it certainly creates some much-needed momentum, momentum that you want to carry forward to the intermission, and you can have a lengthy conversation about it and start the third with a bang. Good defensive stop with the poke check. Kane's the zone. And he takes the dish. Oh, that hits the cage! That's using your head. The Blues look to start the transition game. Moves it on over to Bushnevich. Puck scooped up by Grislyk. And he's pulled over to the ice and loses the puck. Scrum along the boards as they battle for the puck. And that's knocked away by Hayes. Moves it quickly over to Kairou. Taken by Shattenkirk. Oh, he hit. Here we go. You knew that they were going to respond after he got clipped. They have to respond, James. It's the right thing to do. If your star player gets bone crushed or clipped, you have to find a way to answer and respond for him. Well, a spirited scrap comes to an end with the takedown. I think he might be relieved as they head to the ice as he was taking a thrashing. <laughs> I think you're right. The Blues find a way to send a clear message with that fight. They say, we're not going to be pushed around. We're tough, we're physical, and we're not going anywhere. Well, it looks as though the tensions have finally simmered and we're ready to get back to what we actually came here in the first place for. The Bruins win the draw. And now he angles it across to DeBrusque. He grabs the puck here at the point. Great poke by Van Riemsdyk. Here's a shot. Makes the save. St. Louis with possession in their own zone. Grabbed along the board by Lindholm. Passes it to McAvoy. Takes the feed ahead from the left side. Handles the saucer pass beautifully. Slides it to Van Riemsdyk. The Bruins take the puck through the neutral zone. Here's a chance in front. Misses the net. St. Louis has it behind the cage. Centering feed. The Blues cross the line and gain the zone. Sends it in front. Can't connect the play. Intercepted in the offensive end by Hayes. Monster blocker stopped by Swigan. 46 seconds left. 40 seconds left in the period. Boston's got the puck against the boards. Oh, just a great heads up play by Thomas. Picking up momentum across the zone here on the right side. Here's a short pass to Kiki. in the books. We'll get a refresh for both the players. Ice. Back with a third period next. <laughs> 40 minutes in the books. Big third period coming up for both teams and we're ready to go. They're underway here in the third and this could come down to last shot wins. Cheryl, 40 minutes in the books now played. How do you view this one? The Bruins are leading in this third period in large part due to their power play, James. I mean, they've been so effective. And what they've done is they've carried momentum. When they give you momentum, that next shift is also important. So power play has done their job, not just on the scoreboard, but providing energy for their team. Coyles won the faceoff here in the offensive zone. Oh, what a save! Uh, that doesn't swing momentum in your favor. I don't know what will, James. That's a last-ditch effort to...
Let's see what the officials are calling. Well, this is a critical juncture of the game. You've got the one goal lead, and now you take a penalty. The PK unit has to be the task and kill this off. St. Louis is set to go back to work on the power play. Power plays are a funny thing, especially when you're down by one, James. You have to act as if you are the hunter, and you have to possess that puck and attack. Trying to get the puck out of harm's way. Moves it to Hayes. Moves it to the middle. And that doesn't go as it's off a stick. Here's a shot. Oh, and he just got enough of that to keep it out. Slittering feed. And that's blocked in front. Puck moved back to center, forcing them to regroup. St. Louis takes possession along the wall. The Blues move it in. And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. Trying to exit the defensive zone. Can't get it out. They score! Putting it home on the power play, and we have even things up here tonight. Right from the beginning of that power play, James, there just was a confidence about them. The way they own the puck, the precision in the movements, the motion in the offensive zone, and they cash in to tie this game. I don't think the goaltender had a chance on this one. I mean, such a quick release shot. It almost like a flick of the wrist, disguised the shot, and it was in the back of the net. See if we can pick up some momentum again here as a face-off is ready to go. St. Louis has won the draw, and they take possession in the neutral zone. Verona's got it against the boards. No room for that one to get through. Puts it on net. Oh, that save. Tremendous agility there by Bennington. Handles it along the blue line. Let's it fly. Here's a chance behind the net. My goodness, the pressure really building here in the offensive end. wins the face-off. Big save. Zaka is back on the ice after serving that five-minute major for fighting, and it's certainly appreciated that the physical element to your game. You know his teammates certainly appreciate it, but man, you gotta find a way to generate offense, and the only way you can is when you're on the ice. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Kapanen swooping in on the attack. Puck picked up by Saad. And they got caught up in traffic and hits a stick. The Bruins move the puck in the defensive zone. Boston's on the attack. Zaka is the true sniper, James, and he's already got two in the game, and you know he's looking for his third. Skates to the crease. Nowhere for that shot to go through. And the puck's kicked free. Here's a blast. Rips it. Scores! The go-ahead goal puts them in front. Well, now they're in front, James, so they'll have some energy. You know that their first two strikes will be more urgent, but they'll have to be accountable on the other side of the puck as well. The goaltender doesn't like this one. I mean, he gets beat up high because he can't get back to his feet. Why? Because he's running around in his crease because of an egregious defensive zone turnover. The Blues now have the lead here in period number three, and it's crunch time now. It is crunch time, and it's crush times, James. I mean, it's been back and forth all game. Now you find yourself in the lead, so you have the momentum. You've killed your opponents, so continue to hold it. Continue to apply the pressure. Here's a pass to the middle. What a chance, but they can't connect. We got a delayed penalty coming up. That trip right in front of the official's eyes. Can't get away with that. Here comes the sentence. Well, the bench doesn't like this call, James. It's untimely, to say the least, with that one goal lead. Now, the PK unit, they got to get out there, and they got to do a job. Boston's got another opportunity here on the man advantage. When the power play is working, James, man, does it feel good. Everything is working. The systems, the coach is happy, the team is happy. Everything is working in their favor. St. Louis takes possession of the puck. And they get the puck out of the defensive end. He's got a step. Oh, it's on the play. Uh, this is a great play by the tender to anticipate and get across to make that 
that save. Shen's ready for the draw as they continue to be shorthanded here. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Penalty coming up as the play's blown dead. When you're down a goal, you can't generate any offense if you're short-handed. They're gonna have to be opportunistic, find a way to kill it off, and then reset the momentum. And on the heels of that call, we get ourselves a little four-on-four -on, -four on the ice. Not typically that we see four-on-four -four action, although it's a lot of fun. You certainly know they practice it in practice. This is something that they're aware of, they know what they're doing, they want to possess the puck and try and create numerical advantage. Covers it up, we'll get a stoppage in play. Boston's been the better team tonight, in my opinion, but still, they trail here in the third period despite having the advantage in shots. The Bruins have it now. Poked away in the offensive zone by Kairou. Quick shot! Nice save from point blank range. The well, goaltender's at the last line of defense for a reason. This time, he bails his team out. Both teams readying here for the faceoff. Can they take advantage after winning that draw? Here's a blast! pressure on and I love that they're a wave in the offensive zone shift after shift looking for a time to bite and execute but man could they get a little more luck at continually going off the post it's a shot scores and that's three unanswered goals and as my mom likes to say they're cooking with gas <laughs> they're cooking with gas and you can expect that they have put their opponents on their heels this is a team that knows that they have worn their opponent down keep the pedal to the metal. St. Louis extends the lead to two here in the third and a little more breathing room now, Cheryl. Yeah, some more breathing room because their opponent has had the majority of shots in this game. They want to be careful. They want to limit any turnovers, but they'll certainly want to attack and go north any way they can. Stop by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. And he makes that save as well. Ah, beauty save back there. He's really owning his crease. Moving into the attacking zone. Sends it out in front. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Time's up on the power play. Both teams back to even strength. But he's got the puck on his stick now, and you know he's looking for the hat trick, James. And that goes off course off a of body. Puck grabbed by DeBrus. Nice zone entry on the left side. Lugs the puck into the offensive zone corner. Picked up along the boards by Grislyk. Oh, what a save in front. Feeds it to Hayes. Gains the zone from the right. Sends it over. Big stop by the goaltender right in front. Denies him again. Well, this is an incredible save, James. It's anticipation as well. Recognize that the shooter is in the low slot, getting in front of it and making the save. Play blown dead. Let's get the call. Well, the refs are calling a really tight game, and man, this has been a parade to the penalty box, and the entire bench looks agitated, and as a result, they keep taking more. The Bruins once again send out their power play unit. Well, the power play has been great tonight, and this is when you want to be on the ice. You're just chomping on the bit to get back out there. For many days when you don't feel that way, so you got to really enjoy these ones. And they get some breathing room as the puck leaves the defensive end. Backhander! Sensational stop with the stick by Bennington. Bertuzzo's moving the puck through his own zone. And they get the puck out of the danger zone. Slides the puck over to Marchand. And that's poked away by Van Riemsdyk. And they get the puck out of harm's way. Tries to get this man advantage going from their own end now. Nice zone entry from the middle. Quick pass to Van Riemsdyk. Here's a feed in front, and it's blocked. Cannon of a shot. Play is whistled dead as the puck goes up and over. 
Special teams so important. Can they capitalize on this power play here with a faceoff? Offense his own faceoff, and he wins the draw. Score! Confident now getting that one back, Cheryl. And it puts a lot of pressure on the opponent, James. They've held the lead and they've given up one. Now they're within one goal, which means it's striking distance in the third period. As a defender, you know when they're coming and they got to win this face off and dictate the pace. Knocks the puck down with a stick. St. Louis brings the puck in from center. Feeds it down low. Quick feed to Hayes. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. Boston's had a lot to like about their game tonight. Decided advantage in the shot department, but they still trail here in the third. The Blues win the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. Boston's looking to break out of their own end. With possession along the wall. St. Louis gets a hold of it. The Blues gain the zone. Here's a chance! And that's stopped by Sweeman! On the redirect! Another stop by the goaltender. they like a swarm of bees out here with this pressure! Moves it quickly over to Hayes. Taken along the wall by Thomas. Coughs up possession of the puck. Here's a short pass to McAvoy. Big save in front. As a goaltender, you want to make yourself as big as possible, and that's exactly what he does right there and just takes away the net. Centers are set, face off, ready to resume play. Fredericks won the face-off deep inside the offensive zone. Heinen's working it around in the corner. Puck knocked loose after that hit. Along the wing up the neutral zone. Slides the puck over. There's an injection of energy with that hit. Well, after that bone-crushing hit, he is really laboring. You can tell that he was slow to get up, and now he's struggling to get to the bench. And now he tries to get it across to Frederick. Executed perfectly, James. I mean, he can't maneuver. He's got nowhere to go. He's lined up, and then he's taken down. His reflexes on display tonight. Oh, it stops him again. He reads this play perfectly, James. He gets tight to the shooter. There's no room to put it by him. He rules to the game of hockey. One of them is you have to be aware of your surroundings and have your head on a swivel. He isn't, and he takes a huge hit. The Bruins' enemy is starting to become the clock as they still trail here in the third, despite several scoring chances. Back underway, and they take possession here inside the offensive zone. Turned aside with the club by Swayman! I'm not sure how he kept up to that shot right from the slot area, James, but man, he flashed the leather. He made the save. No rebound to boot. While the centers are jammed up, nice job by the winger to steal the puck. Moves it to Alexandrov. And they'll dump it in. The Bruins have it now. Carries the puck up through center. Shot! Big time stop with the glove! There's the whistle as the puck stopper elects to hang on. Puck possession so critical. Another face-off coming up here. The Blues win it in the defensive zone. Passes on over to Torpchenko. St. Louis gains a hold of the puck against the boards. And that's some great pressure in the offensive end by Alexandrov. And too much traffic in front blocks that one. Oh, and a good textbook hit there. The Bruins gain control of it. 
Boston's crossed the line and on the attack. Tried to make a move and the puck hops away. Pasternak's known for his creativity and he tries one too many moves there and he loses the puck. And he was right there to make the stop on that play. Quick pass to Torchenko. And that's a great heads up play by Grislyk. Sent into the offensive zone. St. Louis has the puck. Tries to feed it over to Kapanen. Great use of the stick at center by Lucic. Picked up along the wall by Kapanen. With the stop. Goaltender covers it up. We get a whistle to slow things down. Carlin Bade has been with us all night, standing by once again at ringside. Marshawn's been terrific, using his zone ability to help him generate scoring chances, and he's been rewarded. He's definitely got the edge in this one. Gives them nothing in front. Takes the feed. Takes lines, Along on. the half wall with the puck. Quick feed to Fulk. Sends a pass over. Shen's got it on the offensive end. Shot! Scores! And he lights the lamp again, and that's 25, I believe, now. Yeah, it certainly is, James, and that's a real nice number, showing that he's had a strong, consistent season, in particular on the scoreboard. When you see a guy dangling around his opponent, weaving in and out, sometimes you think it's showboating, James, but all it is is manipulating his opponent to get the lane that he wants. You know that he's going to deliver a pass, and you just got to be ready for it. Boston's put plenty of pucks on net here tonight, but they still trail late in the third. The Bruins win the draw here in the neutral zone. Moves it quickly over to Van Riemsdyk. And that goes off the glove and will play on. Receives the pass. Incredible reflexes on the glove saved by Bennington. Big draw looming here in the offensive zone. Boston's won it, now they'll go on the attack. Chris shot from the slot. And that's blocked from someone in front. Denies him on the play. Battle along the boards. Folks taking it from his own end. Great hook check on the reach. Handles the puck. McAvoy's gaining momentum. The Bruins looking against the half wall. The Blues gain possession. Takes a bump and loses control of the puck. Here's a short pass to Verona. Oh, big time save by Sweden. Goaltender spent so much time doing tracking exercises, and it's utilized right here as he knows where this puck is coming from, and he makes the save. Face off looming as both centers get into position. St. Louis will go to work here in the offensive end. And he gets in front of that. And some good footwork to kick it away. Slides the puck ahead in the neutral zone. Takes the shot, makes the save. Boston's trailing, that's why they've got the extra attacker out on the ice and the goalie on the bench. 49 seconds to go. The Blues gain control of the puck. Through the neutral zone now, heading up steam. Sends it into the offensive zone. And he slides it quickly to Pasternak. And they'll go the other way with a great play by Crew. Here they come on the attack. Here's a chance. Great save from in tight. Now the shooter's gonna run out of real estate because he does a great job of getting out of top of the crease and taking away all the room. When you make yourself as big as possible, there's less holes in the net. The Bruins need to find a way to convert one here late as they trail in the third. Shot! Handles the pass. Slot wide open net, off a stick. Boston's got the puck along the boards. And he takes the pass. Close the book on this one here tonight. And the losing streak continues despite the fact that this was a game that was theirs for the taking. Yeah, and it's extremely frustrating, right? You felt like you could have had it. You came out on fire, and you just weren't able to capitalize and get it done. So you're going to have to figure out a way to reset here, James. Easier said than done, though. You can feel the energy just zapped out of this group.
Thanks so much for joining us. We had a great time. Hope you did too. For all of us here at EA Sports, I'm James Sabalski. Good night.